This week, MediaTek announced the newest flagship mobile chip called the Dimensity 9300. Now, last year they released the 9200, so I'm going to delve into the upgrades and the changes and where you can expect their tech to be integrated. MediaTek, as the brand, has started taking bolder steps towards making these power efficient chips for smartphones and other mobile devices. And while we don't hear a lot about them as much here in the States, the company has a very big market share overseas in Europe and Asia. Plus, Plus, you likely already have MediaTek technology built into some of your devices, like smart home or VR, and you might not even know it. The Dimensity 9300 takes a unique approach to the design, calling it all big core architecture, with four large cores and four big cores, which if you follow chipset news, is very different from Qualcomm Snapdragon's traditional design, which includes smaller cores. Now this is MediaTek's flagship 5G generative AI mobile mobile SOC or system on a chip. So of course it is 2023. AI is going to be a big part of the conversation, whether we like it or not. So what are the biggest wins with the 9300? Well, we're going to get geeky with some numbers and an explanation of what those numbers mean, but do make sure to subscribe below if you are interested in the latest in technical news. And also feel free to pause this video wherever you need to, because there's a lot of information in here about chips and chipsets, and it can get a little bit confusing if you've never really followed along with this kind of information before. So first off, the Dimensity 9300 has 22.7 billion transistors, which is a ridiculous number for a mobile CPU, and it uses that four nanometer plus technology. Now this is the design. It's for four performance cores, four efficiency cores, and the memory was upgraded to LPDDR5T at up to 9,600 megabits per second. So what does that mean? in terms of computation efficiency and performance. Well, according to MediaTek, it's an overall increase in performance over the 9200 and lower power consumption. This is really important as more computing takes place locally on devices as opposed to going up into a cloud somewhere. So for everyday usage like on social media or more powerful usage like gaming or if you're doing localized video editing, you will see better quality performance overall. It is the year of AI, as I had mentioned previously, and MediaTek brought generative AI to this on-chip APU with an eight times improvement overall. So lots of memory is usually required for this kind of processing. So MediaTek uses this tech, which is called advanced hardware compression to take the required usage from 13 gigs and compresses it down to five gigs, freeing up memory for other processes. Now you might think, ooh, compression, but luckily gaming and camera tech is not sacrificed whatsoever with this chip bringing 46% better ray tracing on mobile and increasing the cores from 11 to 12. So that means you will get console level global illumination effects on mobile, but the power requirements drop by 40% from the 9200. The camera capabilities will offer always on HDR and 4K. There's better effects like depth of field and bokeh or bokeh for fancy looking videos. Continuous zoom without losing quality is totally a thing with their dual lossless zoom engine. And the OIS or the optical image stabilization is included in the chip. Now, traditionally that tech is in the sensor hub. So that should improve OIS tech as well. Connectivity is quoted to be better with the Wi-Fi 7 range being extended over last year's introduction. And they've also included some cool security tech as well with secure boot technology, secure computing. As an example, the ARM V9 takes advantage of this tech called memory tagging, which can help developers detect memory leaks while programming applications in a developmental environment, which leads to a more secure application for consumers. Now this video was not sponsored, so any support from simply subscribing to hitting up my Patreon or YouTube memberships all of those are huge deals since that allows me to continue making this kind of content and researching this kind of information. So what products will we see this new chip in? So it already supports advanced LLMs or large language models with big tech partners like Baidu, Meta, and Baishuan AI. At time of recording, Device News was not public. 
So we will start seeing product announcements this year, the year of 2023. So pretty soon, given that it's almost the new year, we should hear about which smartphones MediaTek's Dimensity 9300 is going to be in. Now, the more competition that we see in the flagship market, I think is the better as that is a big win for us as consumers. And it keeps mobile devices from becoming stagnant. I will be hands-on and checking out demos next week. So if you have any questions about this new chipset, comment down below as I have this opportunity to ask MediaTek directly in person. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.